Hello everybody and welcome back where well, yesterday was a very good day for all of VR but also for PSVR 2 as we got quite a lot of PSVR 2 game announcements I think seven to be exact and a lot of stuff to get excited about uh, but before we talk about that again please feel free to like and subscribe as we always say thank you to everybody who tuned in to the live stream yesterday where we watched this thing it was a load of fun and I have to say thank you to the people who gifted memberships because we've gone from about 10 members to like 25 or 27 or something ridiculous like that and i'm going to read off all the member names at the start of this video as opposed to at the end just to say thank you and also to inform you guys that over the coming like week or so uh all the videos made are already done so the previous member names are there and everything's kind of like finalized so there will be a couple videos over the next like a few weeks that might not have everybody's names on it but after that everybody will be on it for that month that they're on the channel basically there's a little bit of logistical stuff but if over the next week or so you see some videos where not everybody's mentioned uh that is why so anyway i gotta say thank you then to luke bentley phil irving hazit mirza ace gamer heavy pickle gin 007 a license to chill Sun WTF, Fat Controllers, Jason Parker, Lamar Hall, Jordi Banzema, Lemon64K, Callum Tierney, Mischievous Marchio, The Underground Game Cat, Brian East, Alajimbe, D2Y, Underground Stranger Game Cat, The Game Cat, Andrew Ehrenreich, Mark Smith, X King X Ping, Jaws of Fast, The Legacy of Kane Cat, Hooked Worm, The Hoosier Game Cat, Outcast VR, Prophecy 777, Test Rate Review, Salvador, Wade, FNCS, Kieran, and Sean Krim. That is so many people. Thank you to everybody who gifted and also gave super chats. Oh, it was just, it was nuts. So uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyway, let's get on to the games that were announced in the VR game showcase yesterday and whether or not you should be excited about them. In no particular order, we got Trombone Champ. This is a port of, I think, a Nintendo Switch game originally, I want to say. And it's essentially exactly what it looks like. You play a trombone, you try and play it well to the beat. It's a rhythm game and apparently it was loved on the flat screen. And the VR version is called Unflattened. This is coming to Quest and PSVR 2, I think. And basically has completely overhauled visuals, a completely overhauled system, essentially. It's just the same gameplay, but everything else is new and fresh for VR, which is awesome. And I also love the double entendre of the name Unflattened as well, which is just fantastic. I was a bit confused by this one on stream, but after looking at it, it seems like a lot of fun and I'll be happy to pick it up when it does eventually come around. A Doom-like game called Wrath Aeon of Ruin. I've never played this one before. All of these games from flat to vr studios that we're talking about at the moment are flat games that have been ported over the hybrids. This one is very Doom-like. It's coming to Steam VR, Quest and PSVR 2 and essentially offers that fast Doom gameplay, a bit like Compound on steroids with a lot more vertical Locality than Compound has because Compound is quite a flat game um, and this just seems like a great VR port as well. These are quite small scale projects for the most part in terms of like games that are a little less known. I certainly didn't know about any of the flat to VR games that got ported but that doesn't mean I'm not excited about them. They seem a lot of fun and so does this one. They also announced the port of the highly rated RoboQuest, which I don't think came out too long ago, to be honest. This one was probably my least hyped out of the four, to be honest, just because its art style wasn't really my thing. But if the flat screen version is rated that highly, I'm very down to give it a go. And it's awesome to see so many projects being taken on by flat to vr The last flat to vr game was Flat Out. Now, this is one that is a lot more well, interesting to me because this seems like Wreckfest. As some people in the chat put it as it was announced, this seems like kind of the predecessor to Wreckfest, which is a demolition derby sort of game with a load of game modes, races, all that good stuff, where you essentially race around tracks, but also crash into other people, cause a load of carnage. And it seems to right up my street, to be honest. This should have wheel support and pedal support, I hope, on launch. And I think this looks fantastic. We had no gameplay, I don't think, or if we did, it was from a non-VR point of view. So I'm interested to see how this actually looks. Uh, but I'm assuming it's going to look great on PSVR 2 because it's also coming to that headset. I'm always down for any more racer games and this one seems like it's going to be a load of fun and something very, very unique with a load of content. One that I was privy to for a little while before it was announced at the showcase is a Vendetta Forever, which seems like a mix between Tiger Blade and Super Hot and Operation Serpents a little bit. You essentially, as they say on the poster, shoot to kill and kill to move. So you make a kill and then you can move to that location, attacking a load of different enemies using so many different weapons and end dreams always manage to take these concepts and make them just absolutely fantastic on the gameplay side of things. So I can't wait to try this one out. I know some people have actually tried it on Quest recently. I do not have access to a Quest headset currently to record on or try out games, uh, so I haven't. Uh, but based on what they're saying, it seems like a load of fun, like a spiritual successor to kind of super hot and those sort of games and expanding on the great parts of games like Tiger Blade. So I'm really excited for this one. My second to last most exciting game that was confirmed for PSVR 2 at launch was Arizona Sunshine, which is a remake of the original game, one that is slightly janky by today's standards. It's being remade from the ground up with all the style and the mechanics of the second game to bring it up to that standard. So you can now play these games 
back to back and they'll feel pretty much seamless, which is just fantastic. It's got the co-op support that the original had as well. And for anybody who loved Arizona Sunshine 2 and didn't play one because it seemed a little old or a little janky, this is exactly up your street and made for you because the original was fantastic, but a little dated. So it's amazing to see it brought up to the spotlight with a brand new remake. The final game that is confirmed for PSVR 2 upon launch is Into the Radius because that's coming out on September the 19th. Pre-orders are open now and this is a stalker-like VR game where essentially you make your way through the wasteland, taking on missions, upgrading guns, taking care of your kit, eating food and battling horrendous creatures. And this is the one that we're taking the most time to look at because a PlayStation blog was released about it that I want to take a look at. CM Games and Fast Travel Games are collaborating for this one, so hopefully I can get my hands on a key for it and bring it out to you guys to see how it is on the headset. But they talk about the rich gameplay, the intense action and the horror of the game, and also talking through the surreal landscape you'll find in the anomaly. But the main bits I really wanted to have a look at was the features they talk about on the PSVR 2. So they say the PSVR 2 version of the game will feature the entire original experience with 20 plus hours of gameplay, but we're also working hard to make sure this edition really reaches its full potential. That means a smooth native 90 FPS experience that uses the power of the PS5 console combined with eye tracked foveated rendering to get the best balance of performance and visual fidelity. It also means we're utilizing many of the great features unique to PSVR 2. Squeeze the adaptive triggers on the sense controllers for dynamic feedback when firing weapons and feel the impact of enemy attacks with headset haptics. These are features never before seen in our game and we're really excited to see how players react to the added immersion they provide. You can also immerse yourself deeper into the world of the radius with mesmerizing 3D audio that roots you in the wasteland. Never before has the Pachorsk anomaly sounded so eerily convincing. When combined together, these features make for one of our favorite versions of our game and a powerfully immersive way to explore the wasteland. In fact, it's been a dream of ours to bring into the radius for PlayStation for many years, having worked on the project for over five years now. We're confident we've taken the time and done this version justice, but for those of you that have been following our progress, rest assured it'll be worth the wait. There's more to share about this version of the game, but rest assured you're not going to have to wait for too long. Into the Radius reaches PSVR 2 on September 19th, and you can pre-order now to save 10% on the full price. The main thing here is the use of dynamic foveated rendering, 90 FPS, and all the PSVR 2 features, which is just wonderful. I can also confirm that this game looks amazing with the OLED panels on PC, so you'll be getting an even better experience on PSVR 2 with the added features. I'm just so ecstatic about that because I did play it on PC VR on Steam in my initial PC VR adapter video, and people were saying, man, I wish I could have played that game. Now you can with more features on PS5. It's gonna be one of the best ways to play it. It's a fantastic game, and especially on night runs, if you go out at night, the black and white contrast between your flashlight and the darkness is just eerily incredible. Anyway, that'll do us for today. We're excited about these announcements. There were a couple of other games, but not ones that were advertised for PSVR 2, so we'll cover them when they're actually confirmed for the headset. Let me know what you thought of these, though. I'm really impressed by the lineup that we have. I'm really looking forward to a load of these games coming to the headset not too long in the future for some of them. My most hyped is Into the Radius because it's so soon and because it's a fantastic game that I know is really built on quality, so I'm excited for that one. Thank you again to all of our patrons and YouTube members and everyone who's just joined the channel as a member. That means you get access to longer videos every month. We've just done one of those for July and there'll be one for the end of August as well. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.